Hello, in this talk we're going to look at integrating the inverse CDF of a normal distribution. Um, that's actually going to be on page two, but I want to put it in the context of, of, a, of a real world problem. And I'm sort of in the non-parametric mode, so that's the arena that we're going to play in. And we're going to create something, well, I'm not going to create, but we're going to be in what's called general scores statistics. So if you think about the Wilcox and rank sum test where the test statistic is a function of the ranks of the absolute values of the data. Okay. So that's the, in that test statistic, they just use that the actual ranks. But if we use a function of the ranks, which is called a score, then we have a score statistic. And then you can even generalize that into what's called a score generating function. And that's sort of the arena that we're going to play in in this talk. And so I'm going to set up the problem very quickly and then just get jump right into integrating the inverse CDF of a normal distribution. Okay, so here, um, this is the, uh, the standard normal CDF, cumulative distribution function. We're going to define a new distribution called uh, phi plus, and it is the area defined by x and minus x, okay, which is the probability that the absolute value of x is less than or equal to x. And x is the is the uh, standard normal random variable. You know, maybe I should have said z. I don't know. And then. This is equivalent to this function. So you, it's the cumulative distribution function minus this. And it ends up being equal to that. Then if we look at the one sample score statistic, which is defined as this. So then the, um, this here is from the Wilcoxon rank, signed rank test which is it's one if it's positive and zero if it's negative, the argument that is. And R is the rank, so it's the rank of the absolute value of the data among all the absolute values of the data. And then this here is, it's a function of the rank. And so this is what's called a general uh, scores statistic. But you can have different uh, score generating function and this one we're going to play in the normal distribution so this is like an inverse normal so it's actually the inverse of this function okay which will transform it so um, uh, we'll get there <laughs> um, now it must satisfy certain criteria the generating score statistic it, it it must be finite when you integrate it from zero to one, and uh, the the integrating its second power from zero to one must be positive and finite. Okay. So now, if we look at this function here, um, this is what the uh, we're looking at on the, the previous page. So this area here when mapped to you know this function is between 0 and 1 you know it's it's like a CDF function but it goes from 0 to X and then this value is actually mapped back to that value that's the inverse and that is what we need to look at it's, it, it's here okay it's the inverse of what we defined here now, so the, the function we defined can be thought of as just an, in, as the normal inverse of the CDF. And you think about it like this, if you know, if this is say 10%, really we only need to know that this is 5% and then we can find that if we use the normal CDF. But in the normal CDF, you know, it goes all the way, so we, it, this has to be one half. And then we take half of what this is, and then we can find the x. So this is actually, to show that this is finite from 0 to 1, integrating from 0 to 1, is equivalent to showing that this is finite, integrating from 0 to 1. So, 
here this is we here's what we ultimately want to show but that is equivalent to see the plus there the normal inverse with the one half plus u to the one half now if we make a, a, a variable change we let w be this inside here and then dw one half du is transformed to this because du is two times dw so that's where that two is and then we and then for this junk we just play, plug in w but now the limits of integration so if we plug in zero to our transformation we get one half and if we plug in one we get one so this is the new world that we're integrating in so if we let w just this piece here be the cumulative distribution function and we do that because the inverse cumulative distribution function of the, in, the cumulative distribution function, they're inverses of each other, so we just get W back. Anyway, so the, we take this, and then the derivative of that is this. The derivative of the CDF is just the axial density function, dV. So now we plug in this here, we get this. So that's what I said. So this piece goes in here, the inverse of the function is just what the argument was so we get v back that's this and then dw is phi of v dv which is this now one of the interesting properties of the standard normal distribution is that this piece here is equal to minus the derivative of phi and i have a video for that i mean but we're not so we're not going to cover it here so this piece here is minus the derivative of phi. And then, well, we want to take the antiderivative of that, which is just phi, and then we integrate it from zero to infinity. And if you plug in infinity to the PDF, you know, it in, the limit goes to zero, so that's this piece. And if you plug in zero to the PDF, you get one over two, uh, square root of two pi multiply this in you get this piece here which is less than infinity it's a finite value so we've we've shown one cr of the criteria for the general score statistic to work the, the the normal score statistic to work so now let's show that the squared is also positive and finite so we're going to look at this and then as above this function that we define can be rewritten in terms of the normal inverse CDF function by this and then um, if we use the same trick here let W equal this take the derivative we get this and so we're integrating from one half to one of this squared function now if we let W be phi of V and then dw is this, and then take the derivative of that, you get this. So we plug um, this in for w, and that in for dw, and we get this. Now, remember the limits of integration. So if we plug in a half to w, then v has to be 0. It's the cumulative distribution function, so that's half. And if we plug in 1, that means V goes to infinity. So that's where we get the infinity there. And so uh, the inverse of the function is just evaluated at the argument. So we get V, but that's quantity squared. So that's what this is. DW is phi V dV. Now, using the trick before, if we take one of those V's here, so V phi of V is equal to minus the derivative of phi of V. So one of, one of the V's is put in here, and then of course the negative is brought out front. So we have this. Now let's use integration by parts. And usually we use U and V and DV, but I've used the heck out of those variables. So let's go to, let's make it X and Y. So let X be V and DY be this piece here. So the derivative is dx equal dv and the antiderivative is just y and the antiderivative of the derivative is just the original function. So then we plug in, so this is x times y evaluated at 
from zero to infinity and then um, the minus two out front will just carry along so then it's minus the integral from zero to infinity of y uh, dx which is this so which is dv and then you plug in phi um, now here when you plug in zero then it's obviously zero but this one um, when you plug it in here you get infinity but this goes to zero and it can be shown very straightforwardly that uh, this goes this goes to zero much faster than that goes to infinity so it ends up going to zero and that's what this piece is and then minus then the antiderivative of the the PDF is the CDF and then evaluate it zero to infinity and um, so we have the minus two uh, well this is zero so then that minus two times this goes to two and if you plug in infinity to the CDF you get one and if you plug in zero you get a half so this multiplied out you get one and that is positive and less infinity which shows that this uh, the conditions hold for that general um, the one sample normal statistic that we wanted to show anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like it uh, subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye